Hello, welcome to this week's video. I'm Rock, and today we're at Ashover in Derbyshire, and we're going to be doing a route from the White Peak mountain bike book that I showed you a few weeks ago. Uh, if you want to ride this route, then click the link in the description below. It's only 13 kilometres, but it has got a really hard climb in it. Uh, it's a glorious day, so let's get riding. We parked at the village car park in Ashover, which is free parking. Turn left out of the car park and left again at the T-junction. Turn right just after Old Poets Corner pub onto this little path, which is very steep. You can probably hear our brakes squeaking. It turns into a rocky, rutty single track, but you have to be careful because there can be dog walkers. In fact, we met a man walking three dogs going up the hill, so you can't just let loose like you can at Sherwood Pines or Canuck Chase. Once you're at the bottom, you end up on this bit of single track that has a stone path that's been laid down in the middle to make it a bit easier to ride on. So here I am just trying to catch back up with Dad, but Mum is nowhere to be seen. I bet she didn't like that first descent very much. Yeah. This is a very hard climb, in fact in the guidebook it says it's one of the hardest climbs in the book and you can see that dad almost fell when his front wheel came up. The annoying thing is that when you come off you can't get going again because it's so steep and technical so we ended up doing the walk of shame to the top. Let me know in the comments below if you managed to cycle the whole way to the top of this hill. Even pushing the bike up the hill was a challenge. The downhill coming off the top of that hill was fun and fast as it flowed down through the trees. to Ashover before but it's a nice little village in Derbyshire. It's got a population of around 2000 and has a long history dating back to the Saxons who called the village Essauer, I think that's how it's pronounced anyway, which means beyond the ash trees. It's been mentioned in the Doomsday Book. rode on this route and what there was was on quiet country lanes apart from when we had to go on the busy A632 but we were only on it for 50 metres. Another historical fact about Ashover is that Bowman from Ashover fought at the Battle of Agincourt alongside Henry V in 1415. This was a part of history that I really enjoyed learning about and it is strange to think that some of the men in this battle came from such a small village. Here we turned left off the road and up this lane.
are a few gates on this ride and Nani's dad goes ahead and opens them so we can go straight through. Here we could have gone over the cattle grid but it had parts missing which left big gaps and I didn't fancy losing my front wheel down one of them. It's a good job Dad's head is on the pivot so we can spin round and get the nice scenery. Actually, this is just one of the features of the Insta360 camera. This part was steep enough but it's nothing compared to what we're about to come to. quarry path that runs through Raven Nest Wood. As you can see, it's another steep and technical plan with some loose rocks and also step ups. Mum ended up on a path below us, which was less rocky, but she didn't fancy riding it because of the drop to the side of it. So once again, we all ended up taking our bike for a walk. Made it. But once we got to the top, the view was worth it. After a little rest, we got back on the bikes and started riding down the single track into the trees. You might be able to see the white spot in the middle of the screen, which is condensation on the lens of the Insta360 camera. This happens at some point on every ride, so Dad contacted Insta about it, and they have sent out a lens guard, which they said would solve the problem. You might be able to see the dirty patch on my shorts from a crash I had earlier, but unfortunately we didn't catch it on camera, but it was just a bit of bruising, nothing major. This steep little climb just takes us back into Ashover and then we work our way back to the car park. Because it was such a nice day, when we got back to the car park, we had our picnic. This is the map of our ride, but if you go to Komoot to download this ride by clicking the link in the description below, you'll see that it looks slightly different. This is because one of the cycle paths was closed due to a landslide, so we had a slight diversion. If you want to learn how to plan a route on Komoot, click the video on the screen. Although this route was quite short at 13 kilometers, it had enough hills to make it feel like quite a hard ride. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Smash the thumbs up and remember, mountain biking makes the world go round. See you next time.